Hey there, B00. My name is Exelberth, and I think I figured out a working capture point system for your Call of Duty style map in the Minecraft pack. And it's actually that tall one right behind me. So, the way it works is that it does have a bit of favoritism for the first team that arrives there because it starts out neutral, allowing them to capture in less time and if the opposing team comes over and tries to take it back they have to get the initial time plus their own capture time and I have it set up to three second control shifts so say I'm on blue team I get here first I stand on the pressure plate for about three seconds and it turns blue and after that, it doesn't matter how long it's down this pressure plate, it will not add any more time to the orange team's takeover time. So, say I'm on orange team, I get here, and it's already blue. I simply stand on the pressure plate until blue turns off. Then I have to wait another three seconds until orange turns on. And then I'm gone. And I think this is a fairly compact system. It's not very wide for the most part and I actually have a a flat layout here to show how it works so when one team comes along they stand on the pressure plates which sends a signal over here to a inverter cell that activates a timer set to however long you want the capture time to be at the same time it's sending a wireless signal to a piston of the same team's color so that it will only activate for that team now the way that works is if it's for the orange team this piston will extend while the blue piston is not extended and it will send a signal through the wool and activate a counter which I... oops okay so just a word of warning never center click on any of the red power items because you likely will get a bugged item in your inventory that causes you to crash like I just did so anyway what I was saying say orange team is on the pad which is engaging this thing and once the timer goes it will send a pulse which will only go through the orange wool causing the redstone on this side of the wool to tick once and that will activate this counter which I have set for a mi maximum count of two meaning it requires up to two counts to go to either side that will emit a redstone signal on this side which is going to a wireless transmitter that is activating the orange light at a distance. Then if you were to be on the blue side, you would have to go through the timer once, which will activate one tick, and then again, which will activate another tick, turning it to the blue light. And of course, any more ticks will not do anything at all. So that's my idea for a fairly simple um, capture point system. I suppose that another thing you can add to this would be a uh, redstone wire going from each wireless receiver to some sort of counting system that will count up the points and actually how high does a counter go? these things actually go pretty high so you can have multiple counters set up to add a point every couple of seconds like yeah, let's just break this so we get it back and break this one oops like that 
So let's see, currently orange team holds the holds the capture point. And we actually will need another inverter cell for this. Oops, wrong direction. See that will send information to an inverter cell which will activate a timer set to give a point every like two or three seconds and with that you can rotate damn it hmm actually that won't work at all never mind that it probably be better to use computer crafts computers or something similar to figure out how many ticks you are getting for each capture point that's held per team. So Good would probably be a good good person to add to the team to figure things out. This was actually the third version I set up of capture point systems. Uh, this one ended up making a rave party and this one would always give one team the capture point immediately when you started. No matter which team was on the pressure plate. So it was an ultimately a failure. Moving on, I do have an idea I'd like to put forward for the uh, for the initial um, class choosing system. I believe you had mentioned that in Call of Duty there is a point buy system that limits you on what you can have for weaponry. And I have kind of a similar idea. And it involves actually having an anvil over here I can use. So everyone comes, they set their spawn in the area, and go to the lobby area where they can get their basic gear, which would be like a sword, a bow, with infinity on it, of course, so you don't have to worry about running out of arrows. An iron suit, the arrow you need, a few grenades, a charm of keeping which you probably would have to be able to give to them at respawn and 10 emeralds and the emeralds would be used with these trade mats to purchase armor buffs, weapon buffs, extra weaponry and uh, I'm just calling them mega items I don't know what you would actually call them but I don't know if you could call them perks So say I want to have a better sword, I would go and purchase myself an M purchase myself a sharpness one book or maybe another one. So that'd be two points used already. Give myself a bit of projectile protection. That leaves me with a total of seven emeralds, which I can use to purchase a couple bits of extra equipment like a longer range weapon or some contact grenades and possibly a mega weapon like a smart sentry so then you just go to the enchantment table do your usual enchanting stuff now since this would require some actual some actual experience to do all this stuff probably would be a good idea to get generics um, experience bees in the area to help cover the cost of this stuff and then you would just go ahead and start your battle. Everyone would have something that's kind of unique. Oop. Everyone would have at least a ranged weapon. Oh, speaking of ranged weapons, I have actually seen quite a few suggestions of using the mining laser as a shotgun with its scatter setting. I strongly urge not to do that because that is completely destructive. And one thing I'd like to point out with the 
sentry turret from portal is that well one it does not shoot you if you placed it so that's fairly useful but it also is able to be destroyed with any ranged weapons and if you were to set it on fire with oops I did not mean to actually do that if you were to set it on fire, it actually explodes when it dies. However, if it's taken out with melee, then the player that took it out... Actually, that's not what I wanted. I think you just punch it and it gets knocked out. Or not. I could have sworn that it dropped itself if you just knocked it out with a melee attack. Oh well. Those are some of my ideas. I also have an idea for like a flak jacket, which would be the composite vest. And since a composite vest or composite chest piece is actually stronger than an iron chest piece, probably would have to have a rule that anyone who purchase, purchases a flak jacket is not allowed to purchase any other extra armor stuff that can be applied to a chess piece. And another interesting item that I would use would be a guard golem. A smart one with the dart launcher on it. Because you can set these guys to attack players. So if an enemy player walks into the area they will start shooting it and attacking it. Which is pretty cool. You're not supposed to get placed there. As for extra equipment, I thought up Frost Sniper, which is just a Wand of Frost, a Flamethrower, which is a wand of, wand of Flame, Arc Launcher is just a Wand of Lightning, Sticky Grenades is just Sticky Dynamite, Contact Grenades is Elementum because, well, it just explodes on contact with any surface. I was kind of wondering how you could do like concussion grenades or flash grenades and I think that a slowness potion could work in place of a concussion grenade and instead of a flash grenade how about a debilitation grenade which would be weakness just makes you weaker in melee and then C4 adapter which is a actually a dynamite emote and they're not that hard to make you just get a little bit of lapis and a frequency transmitter and you can make several of them. And the way that those work is that you can actually place these dynamite sticks on the ground, right click on them with your C4 controller and if anyone walks in the area you can just detonate whenever you want. So these are all my suggestions as to what you can add to the Call of Duty style map and I hope you actually enjoy some of them. And I would love to hear back on you, hear back from you on this if you actually enjoyed any of my suggestions enough to use them. Take care and goodbye.